Gabe's rule. The Uganda-born cleric, the second most senior clergyman in the Church of England, made the dramatic gesture on live television in 2007 and stated that he would not wear it again until the Zimbabwe president was gone. As an Anglican, mm -hmm. this is what I wear to identify myself, yeah. that I'm a clergyman. Do you know what Mugabe has done? He's taken people's identity and literally, if you don't mind, cut it to pieces. This is what he's actually done to a lot of and in the end, there's nothing. So yeah. as far as I'm concerned, from now on, I'm not going to wear a dog collar until Mugabe is gone. Archbishop, that is a, that is a dramatic uh, gesture, and everybody will observe it. Thank you very much indeed for coming in to join Thank us. Thank you, Andrew. And, and keep my pieces, by the way. I'll keep Collect the them the until the day we'll, when Ziva was free. We'll, we'll, we'll give you them back. Nearly ten years on, I have got them for you. They've been sitting in my desk. They're in a slightly crumpled old envelope, but here they all are. And I said I'd give them back, yeah, thank and you. so I'd give them back. Thank you. There they go. I don't know if you can pull right there. Yeah. Oh, they're all in here. And I actually think the lesson for Zimbabwe is the same. They just can't try and stitch it up. Something more radical, something new needs to happen in terms of the rule of law. Um, you know, allowing people to, to, to get jobs because 90% of people are out of work. So they can't just stitch it up. I need a new collar. So here is the million dollar question. Are you going to put a collar back on again now, Archbishop? Andrew, I promise that when Mugabe goes, I'll put my collar on. So I have no choice but to put it back on. Keep your promise, that's Absolutely. Good. And Mugabe has gone, but the new president has got to remember something more new than just simply stitching up a thing. The SADC Stemba force has arrived in Lesotho, an advanced team composing of South Africa.